hey folks welcome back to the channel and in today's video i'm going to transform this old drill press and uh, for me this is actually a piece of garbage and uh, every hole it drills always remain out of square so if you have similar problem like me then this video might help you ring i weld a piece of 12 millimeter square bar and cut it from the center and weld these two nuts so that these also ring down to the clamping action later on i cut down the excess portion and weld it u section which i made earlier and now this thing is ready to hold the base for the aesthetic purpose i slightly round off the edges to match the contour of that round pipe then i made a mark center punch drill down the hole after that i also center punch and drill the hole and uh, i also tap this rod as well with m8 thread tap so that it can be locked down along with that u inside the pipe For the clamping action I also drill down the hole and tap 3 8 inch thread behind that ring.
to make the hole down for this T and the U portion I need to make a tap inside that but unfortunately the material is hardened and I am unable to drill so I normalize it and then give it a try and it succeeded after that I tap it with M8 thread tap and this thing is ready to lock down and ready to use it. Then I start the same work for the top portion as I described earlier you don't need that much thickness then I cut down these two spacer pieces whose width is equal to the top portion of the drill press and uh, I clamp it to its place and then made a tack weld I forgot to clean off the area around that pipe but after the cleanup I made a complete weld After that I made some preparation to connect it with that portion which we built earlier and uh, I am not confident about the weld joint so instead of welding I am going to connect them with the fastener and uh, for the fastener I am using 10 mm allen bolts once both of the pieces leveled up I clamp them and secure them. For the motor mounting plate holder I am using this 16 mm coupling nuts and uh, with the help of drill I remove the inner thread to make it plain then I level up the things together so that I can weld those coupling nuts. To increase the distance from the wall I welded piece of 12 mm square rod with the coupling nut and then weld it with the main frame. Then I measure the distance and transfer the whole location onto the plate and this plate is served as a motor mounting plate for my drill press. Take the lifting mechanism for my drill press. I first tape down the area and transfer that curvature onto the piece of flat bar. Cut it with the help of angle grinder so that this bar can be fitted around that area. To fasten this bar around that I need to drill the holes and after marking the hole location I drill down the holes and transfer those holes onto the base of the drill press and drill them and threaded them so that these two pieces can be connected together. Then I align the head to the center of the base and uh, Initially you need a plumb bob for this kind of work but I use something else. 
for the lifting mechanism instead of a rack and pinion I am using this lead screw and this nut and to join this cast iron nut and uh, the mild steel rod I am going to use M10 thread and a bolt I repeat the same thing at the back side of the mild steel rod so that the rod can be welded to the head of the drill press to cap the lead screw at its place I am drilling the hole into that flat bar I am going to tap the bottom portion of the lead screw so that it would be easy to cap it to its place then with the help of inclinometer I aligned the lead screw parallel to the main shaft and made a mark onto the round bar and cut it and weld it to its place Then I turn down bottom area of the lead screw to spherical shape so that it would be easy to rotate and for the split holder of that spherical shape I am using this piece I found this in my drawer I don't know where it came but it is suitable for this kind of job and if you don't have this thing then you can use a piece of pipe equals to the diameter of that spherical shape and uh, use it as the split nut kind of a thing after that I transfer the whole location and threaded that split nut so that it would be easy to fasten it to its place 